welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian and in today's video, as you guys can see from the title, it is going to be a Valentine's DIY video. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys three Valentine's DIYs that I created. Now, all these DIYs are super affordable. You know I love myself a good Dollar Tree DIY. So all these DIYs are from Dollar Tree. The only thing that was not purchased in Dollar Tree is my hot glue gun and my hot glue sticks. But other than that, everything else was purchased from Dollar Tree. So like I said, I made three different DIYs. I'm gonna share with you guys those three Valentine's DIYs. So let's jump right into my video. All right, guys, so for my first Dollar Tree Valentine's DIY, I'll be making a heart wreath. And these are all the supplies that you are going to need. You are going to need some flowers of your choice. You're also going to need a heart-shaped wreath. And then you're also going to need a hot glue gun and hot glue sticks. Everything was purchased from Dollar Tree other than my hot glue gun and hot glue sticks. So the first thing I'm going to do is just remove all of the flowers from the stems. It's really easy to pull off, so I'm just going to complete this process until I am completely done pulling off all of my flowers. And now I'm just going to apply a little bit of my hot glue to the actual wreath itself, the wire, and then I'm going to place down all of my flowers and you only have to hold it down for maybe 20 seconds and then it'll be done and you can just complete this process until your entire wreath is complete. <music> I did have a few empty spaces where you could see the wires, so I decided to go in with the green leaves from the flowers and just glue them in the areas where I feel like was too empty or you saw the green wire. And this is the end results of my Valentine's flower Dollar Tree wreath. I think it turned out super pretty. I have it on my front door. You guys can choose to do it any way you would like. If you want to do one solid color or mix up the colors, it's totally up to you. And the total cost for this wreath was only $8. All right, so for my second DIY, I'm going to attempt and try to make a Dollar Tree Valentine's pillow. You're going to need two of these little banners of your choice. You're gonna need a hot glue gun and hot glue sticks and then stuffing. If you don't have stuffing on here, and you can always use an old pillow and take the stuffing out of that. So the first step in this pillow is just going to remove those plastic sticks. So I'm gonna try to cut as careful as possible so I can be able to remove those plastic little bars that are on top of each of these little flags. Now I'm going to start gluing everything down together. Now I'm first going to glue down the top flap, the part where I took out the bar. You could totally decide to cut that off, but I suck at cutting straight, so I decided just to glue it down so it can be straight. Then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to glue all the sides down. So I'm going to have the picture up on the front and then the back also have the picture up. And I'm just going to glue these together if that makes sense. It's really hard for me to explain things. So hopefully you guys understand what I'm doing. I'm just gluing all these sides together and I'm going to leave one opening so I can be able to stuff the pillow with my stuffing. Like I said, if you don't have stuffing on hand, you can always grab an old pillow and take the stuffing out of there. Now 
now that three sides are glued together i'm now going to go and start stuffing my pillow you can put as much or as little as you would like And now that I am done stuffing my pillow, I am now just going to glue down the bottom part of my pillow so I can secure it. And this is the end results of my Valentine's pillow. It actually turned out much cuter than I expected. I totally thought this was going to be a complete fail. Now, obviously the shape of this is kind of weird, but I've never seen a pillow with this shape. So I think it's kind of unique. So I think it turned out really cute and I'll probably end up putting this pillow on my daughter's bed. So for this last and final Dollar Tree Valentine's DIY, I'm going to be making this candle holder. I'm just using a glass vase from Dollar Tree and then I picked up some white roses. I believe I have four of those white rose sets and then you're also going to need a hot glue gun and hot glue sticks. So the first thing you're going to do is same thing as when you did your wreath. You're just going to pull off all the flowers from the stems and then you are going to start gluing them down to your glass. Now the first thing I did was pull off that green part in the bottom. I thought it would be easier to glue down the flowers like that but it totally wasn't I decided to just leave that green part on and then just clip off the stem with like a wire cutter and I feel like it was able to stick much better than me doing this because the flower was falling apart so don't do my mistake just clip down the bottom stem like I did right there add a little bit of glue and then glue it down to the glass and it will stay And this is the end results of my flower vase DIY. I think it turned out really cute. I actually got this idea from Do It On A Dime, but she did the flowers all the way up. I decided not to do the flowers all the way up because I wanted you to be able to see the candle. So I just have an LED candle in the middle, but you can choose to put whatever you would like in the center. And I decided to put it over here where I have a picture of my grandfather and best friend who passed away. I think it looks really pretty there. So yeah, I really love the way that this one turned out. All right guys, so that is going to end my three Dollar Tree Valentine's DIYs. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, they are all super affordable. Everything was purchased from Dollar Tree and that pillow ended up coming out super cute. Although it is a weird shape, I've never seen a pillow that shape. So I think it's kind of unique and different. So I was originally planning on putting it in my daughter's room, like on her bed, but Ryan ended up seeing it and saying that he wanted it for his room. So I let him have it. And right now it's sitting on his bed and it's so cute. So I think all three DIYs turned out super cute. And I also think that candle holder I could use year round. It's not only for Valentine's and I'll most likely keep it in that area that you guys saw that I showed you in. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this Valentine's Dollar Tree DIY. If you guys decide to create any of these Valentine's DIYs, make sure to let me know in the comments or tag me on Instagram. As always, I just want to say thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have not, please consider subscribing to my channel and joining me and my YouTube family and I will see you guys next time. Bye.